Please be advised that everything in my video is purely for entertainment purposes. These are purely my thoughts and opinions and are subjective. I must advise you, please do your own research. All media used was found on the public domain and are fair use and fair dealings. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Mahogany Spirit coming to you from the UK. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. The royal family have been criticised for abandoning Meghan and Harry with a cold response. It would appear that this family can literally do nothing right. The royal family botched an attempt to repair their relationship with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, according to Russell Myers. The royal editor of the Daily Mail, Mr Myers, labelled the cold response from Buckingham Palace as a huge mistake and a missed opportunity. He suggested the failure to stand by Meghan and praise her for her open letter suggests how big those cracks are in their relationship. This comes after Meghan Markle revealed that she suffered a miscarriage in July, writing in an article of her feeling an uttermost unbearable grief. Buckingham Palace's only comment on the sad news was a short statement that said it was a deeply personal matter we could not comment on. Now, I'm wondering why Mr Myers feels the need to make this statement. It almost comes across like if Meghan Markle said anything about her personal life, the Royal Palace have to immediately respond and I really don't see how beneficial this would be to the public here the royal family respond they really don't need to do that kind of PR the royal family I feel are there to represent the British people hey, that is their job to hold things together to be a constant they're not there to comment on personal matters of members of the royal family at every twist and turn and I really think this is short-sighted of Mr Myers to make this statement personally. You see Meghan Markle and Harry did step down from public life and from being working members of the royal family to pursue a private life. A private life so therefore anything they reveal about themselves with regards to their personal lives are down to them. It's not for anyone else to comment on. I think every woman fully understands that, especially women that have experienced and suffered a miscarriage. It's really a personal issue whether you want to make it public or you want to keep it private. Not everyone wants to have that conversation. And some people do doubt Megan and how genuine or sincere this statement is because she has just hired a new PR company to work their magic on her. We all know that her popularity at this point is practically in the toilet. But strangely, and what I find very, very peculiar is, as she herself has sent Thanksgiving wishes to the American people, she has not revealed a picture of herself, her husband and her baby. Them as a family unit. The British people haven't seen that, nor have the Americans. So... She's still cherry-picking what she chooses to reveal, just as she cherry-picked not revealing the godparents to baby Archie the time that Archie was born and did say she was not going to stand publicly on the steps and allow the media to take pictures of Archie. She felt that that was all private and has continued to act like that. So the royal family are not always in the loops as to what Meghan feels or doesn't feel. So this is very short-sighted of Myers to make the statement that they missed an opportunity. 
I don't think they did. It serves no benefit to anybody to continually talk about Miss Markle and her miscarriage because we don't know whether she factually had one or not. Or she talks about her husband being with her in that hospital. This is in the height of COVID. We know that in July she did move to Santa Barbara. We know that she made several speeches. She talked about voting. She talked about Black Lives Matters. And she made a speech to her old high school. So Meghan Markle really does cherry pick what she wants to reveal. And she does this often. So she is judged based upon her actions by the public. I really do feel that the royal family have been very supportive towards Meghan and Harry. So much so that they have left themselves open to criticism. Because I personally feel that Meghan and Harry should have been cut off way back in June because they decided to leave for a private life which they have not done they are clearly cashing in on the brand itself which the Queen has clearly stated the royal family are not for sale Meghan and Harry appear to be cashing in on that and not only that they have signed this deal with Netflix and I feel that that deal is really inappropriate given the way it has depicted Diana and Charles' relationship. The article goes on to say, this prompted criticism that the response lacked empathy and showed a cold side to the royals. Talk radio host Kelvin O'Sullivan described the response as strange. He said, when the palace released their statement, they neglected to note that Meghan had decided not to make it a deeply personal matter. She decided to share it with the world. They were wrong on that. Mr Mayers told Talk Radio this morning that this is a huge, huge missed opportunity for the royal family before accusing them of abandoning Meghan. They should have made public statements on this saying that this is a really brave and honest thing to do. Now, I'm going to say to Mr. Mayers and Mr. O'Sullivan that women, ordinary women, experience miscarriages every day. They also experience stillbirths every day. Meghan Markle has a team surrounding her. She is living in an extremely luxury mansion in Santa Barbara. She's not isolated in a village far, far away where she can't seek any help or does not have the financial means to get support. Meghan Markle is in the 1% and therefore she should be treated as such. As I've stated before, miscarriage coming from any background is devastating to the woman who experiences it. Meghan Markle is surrounded by support and therefore has absolutely nothing to gain from the royal family making any kind of statement at all. I would even go as far as to say Meghan Markle putting the statement out in itself to benefit her than it was about those that were consuming that information. Myers goes on to say it would have potentially amended some of the cracks in the relationship that we have been talking about for months and months now that are obviously there and still very raw. I thought the response was very stuffy to be honest. This was a massive missed opportunity. I think that Meghan has caused so many conversations over this past year. And when you really think about it, she hasn't really been 
a member of the royal family for that long and the amount of attention that she's taken up. She went to South Africa, she spoke about herself. With the backdrop of women that had experienced rape, those not having any food, you know, women that had experienced miscarriages, all of that. And she stood there and spoke about herself. And in her open letter, she still talks about the question, are you all right? And I really feel that she missed the opportunity to ask those individuals in South Africa if they were all right. She has missed so many opportunities. You see, she wants everybody to focus on her. And now you have reporters talking as if everyone should focus on her. She's constantly moaning never happy, always dissatisfied, and where does it end? The royal family are here to represent the people of the UK. Give us some kind of constant, some hope through these really difficult, dark times. And I really don't think a firm like that should expend so much energy in public talking about one member it's never complain and never explain that's the mantra and it's there for a reason this is not a soap opera guys you tell me what you think please like comment and subscribe until the next time bye for now